Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am taking you through my March reading journal setup. So for some reason, March always reminds me of nature and growing and, you know, trees and plants and leaves and everything. And for some reason, I always end up doing a sort of greenery, nature, planty themed March spread. Um, and nothing different this month. I have gone with this pretty simple kind of leaf design. I did find a picture on Pinterest where I got the inspiration for doing this sort of leaf border design for the for the March page spread. So I will link that below. But this is basically just a easy leaf drawing that I went in with pencil beforehand. And it's sort of just like freehand sketching of these leaves. And then I went in after with my Tombow markers, just different shades of green, and am coloring things in. So like I was saying, there's just something about March that really brings out the nature -y side of me, I guess. I feel like March is a time where winter is sort of moving away from us. I live in an area which is really cold and there's a lot of snow here. And I mean, not to say the snow has disappeared in March, but I feel like now is the time when the weather is sort of getting better and warmer and the snow is slowly leaving us so yeah for some reason it just really brings out the greenery and the nature and the plants and the leaves in my head. <laughs> So now I'm just going in to do the font, I guess, and this is just the March title. And as you'll see, this sort of line in the middle of the letters is a theme throughout this month's spreads, as well as this sort of blocky Times New Roman font. And this is all in that photo that I mentioned where I got this design from. And I definitely really like how it turned out. This is probably one of my most simplistic spreads. I feel like other than the leaves, I haven't really done anything special with this spread, and I do think it turned out quite nice. What didn't turn out so nice was taking off this tape. I think it got a little too stuck to the paper because it definitely ripped some of the paper and I don't know if it came out in the video that much, but in person, it does not look great. But, you know, is what it is. You gotta live with it now. And then I'm just filling in the leaves where the tape was so that I do have that kind of layered look. And, you know, some of the leaves are coming in through the border. And that is our finished March main spread. Now turning the page, we are moving to my TBR spread as well as my days red spread. So I always try to switch up these spreads every month. And again, still going with a simplistic look, I'm just drawing a couple leaves in the corner. And then you'll see, I started with just planning to write out the books I was gonna read, but you'll see later on that I did end up doing something a little more um, advanced, I guess, for me. You know, um, I did go a little less simplistic for this page. And now I'm just writing out TBR at the bottom. And then here, another bit of a difference is I ended up doing an actual calendar, whereas normally I just kind of put in boxes and each day that I do end up reading, I just fill in the box. But this month, I did sort of make in a calendar. Not that I can really use this as a planner per se, but I just thought it was a bit different and ended up being nice.
So this month what I did is I did these little circles inside of the squares for each day and then put the date. And so each day that I read, I will just fill in the circle. So this is where I went a little crazy, you know, just decided to do something different. And I think this is still works well with my nature theme. We got these this brown paper and I just kind of ripped these papers up into random shapes and glued them down. And I'm just planning to write the book titles in these little brown pieces of paper. So now turning the page at some point, there we go, we are moving into my books read spread and this is where I basically just at the end of the month print out pictures of all the books that I read and glue them down in here. And as you can see, I am sticking with the line in the middle with the Times New Roman-esque font and this was actually kind of difficult to do because I wanted to make sure all of the letters fit within the space I gave the line, if that makes sense. And I wanted to make sure the letters were similar to the letters for March because the only reference I had was the letters for March. And I don't know if that really worked, but I think it looks, it looks decent in the end. So I am pretty happy with it. And now turning the page, that page too is like really simple, pretty much all I did. And for this page, again, we have the same font going on at the bottom. This is going to be my playlist for the month. I really like including this playlist for the month because I think it's just fun looking back later in life, you know, at the end of the year or something, and actually seeing which specific songs I was really into for that month. So yeah, I think this is just a fun little spread. And then beside it, I have basically my favorites of the month. So I have my favorite book and then I have some stats. So I'll have total pages read and then total books. So now just to have some consistency, I guess I'm going in with some brown paper again just to, uh, I don't know, add some contrast or something, whatever the artsy term for this is, but uh, I'm just going to put this in the corner and then on top of this, I'm going to draw in some song cards. I don't know what you would call this, but you'll see once the drawings are complete. And then just to add some color, I'm putting in another leaf drawing in the corner where there's space. And now just a quick run through of everything we have accomplished today. These are all the finished spreads. I also went in with some washi tape and put that in random places. And that is my March spreads for this month. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like the spreads and let me know if you're into bullet journaling what kind of spreads you're doing for March. I feel like a lot of people do these naturey green themes so are you one of them? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next video.